Hey there, welcome. Welcome to Rise and Receive. This is a reset point in your day where you get to just stop for a little bit and explore how to receive your fulfillment by unlearning struggle. So today we're starting a three-part series on receiving your purpose. So if you've ever asked the question or have been asking the question for a while, what's my purpose? What's going to give my life meaning? Or maybe you are in a job that is really unsatisfying, you feel some discontent about, you really want to do something different, and you're having a hard time finding your way, either because you feel locked into it or because you just don't know where to where to go or what to do, you know, that meaning and purpose question is kind of beckoning you. Um, or maybe, and I've seen this happen a lot lately with, you know, clients and people that I talk to, you know, what we've been through as a world over the last year has been so destabilizing that you're feeling lost, you know, and you find yourself just bouncing around reacting to all sorts of external stimuli um, and news and things about the economy and job and things are overwhelming. And so you might ask the question, what's mine to do in the midst of all of these world events? So it's a question about meaning and purpose. So if that's resonating for you, then I think you're going to like today's Rise and Receive. So what I've been doing with 2021 is I have been really focusing each week with a three-part series on how to open the flow gates to some of the things that you want most in life, whether it's inner world perceptions or feelings like freedom, peace, love, joy, or outer world manifestations like job or wealth or uh, body stuff, health or well-being or beauty. Maybe it's a trip you want to take. Maybe it's a creative endeavor. And we really are able to create our reality when we know how to tap into the power of consciousness because your consciousness actually is the cause, the beginning place of every effect in your life. Now, what I've been doing is illuminating blind spots. And I define a blind spot as when your current point of view hides an essential insight. Because your point of view really says so much about the consciousness, what's what's going on inside of you that's creating your reality. In other words, it's the lens through which you're looking at your goals and your dreams and your life. Um, so when you see it one way, your current point of view, you're going to create a certain way. But when someone illuminates a blind spot for you, all of a sudden those lenses come off. You either see clearly or you see something with new lenses. You have a whole new perspective. Your consciousness shifts and you can create a completely different reality just by seeing things differently. So that's what a blind spot is. And what I've been illuminating specifically are what I call receiving blind spots. So a receiving blind spot is when there's something that you can't see that's blocking you from receiving, receiving your fulfillment. And that occurs when you operate more as a human doing versus a human being. And most of us, we know how to do. We get an idea in our head, we set an intention, we have a target, so we do a whole lot of thinking, take a whole lot of action, we operate as human doings, and that's great, but it can only take you so far. So what do you do when you've been working really hard, you're not receiving that fulfillment that you want, and you don't actually know how to receive, you don't have that skill set? Well, we do more of the same, more hard work, more thinking, and again, you hit that upper limit, all right? So I'm gonna be illuminating a particular blind spot today as it relates to purpose. Now. Before I jump into that, if you don't know me, my name is Sonia Miller. I'm a speaker, coach, and best-selling author, and I love helping hardworking, goal-oriented people to dissolve their glass ceiling, dissolve that upper limit so that you can receive what you've been working so hard for. And I do this by teaching the skill set of receiving. I have a very short, simple, powerful process called the three-step receive method. Once people start practicing that, they open the flow gates. So today's blind spot is what I call the provider blind spot. I talked about it in reference to a different um, Rise and Receive series, and now I'm gonna talk about it specifically to your purpose, meaning, and the things that just would really give you just a sense of just so much fulfillment in your life. And I'm gonna do it specifically related to job because a lot of people get all bound up around their life purpose because many people believe that in order to really 
live your life purpose, it has to be through a job. And that right there builds in or illuminates part of the blind spots. So blind spots um, are blind to us. So I'd like to give you clues so that you can see if the provider blind spot is hindering your ability to tap into your purpose. And this is how you know, okay? If you're asking, what's my life purpose? Or how do I uh, find my purpose? Or how do I experience more purpose? In, in in my life, in just in general, tap into that joyful fulfillment, you're going to be asking this question, what do I do? I want to live my life purpose. What do I do? Okay, so if you're asking, what do I do? Then you're operating as a provider. Okay, that's what providers often, uh, I should say, that's the lens through which a provider will usually um, operate from. Okay, again, the hunter is the metaphor. So the hunter identifies a target. They figure out what they have to do to go and get their target, conquer it, kill it, bring it home so that they can provide sustenance, right? Now, here's the thing. Your purpose is not in what you do. It's in who you be. So when you ask, what do I do? You're going to get stuck if you keep looking at that. Now, let me just check my notes here. Um, right. So the distinction then to start opening the flow gates is to shift from what do I do to how do I do anything that I do? How am I being? How am I being? Which lends to who am I? My beingness, right? The being model of power is where easy receiving starts to happen. Because just like the majestic tree, the majestic tree does nothing and receives all day long. The majestic tree is the embodiment of its own essence, okay? So as you start to connect with the essence of you, your beingness, and you start to realize that is really where the answer to the question, what is my purpose, comes from, you can start to open a door to how do I bring my beingness, my essence, to everything that I do? And the doing starts to fall into place, all right? So here's how to open the flow gates. A great place to start is this. Start asking, start exploring, start putting on the new lenses instead of what do I do to when I'm at my happiness, I'm sorry, happiest, who am I being? When I'm at my happiest, who am I being? Or when I'm at my happiest, how am I being? Do you see how completely different that 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 lenses that that way of looking at yourself because here's the thing when you're at your happiest you are in the essence of you it's like a flower or a flowering tree okay it's got its own essence its own aroma and guess what it does it attracts with its colors and its fragrance it receives it's the embodiment of an invitation so as you start looking at what it's, what's happening when i'm at my happiest that's going to start giving you clues about the doing. Am I with people? Am I alone? Am I being creative? Am I being helpful? All right. What's happening? Who are you being when you're at your happiest? Now, to drive a point even finer, sharper, right, to make it sharper, here's a great way to really kind of prove this point. I invite you to think about a job Maybe, and, and maybe this scenario doesn't work, but the next one will. Okay, so maybe you have a job that you at one point loved, or there's an activity that sometimes you just really love doing this activity. And then sometimes you hate this job. Same job, different experience. Happiness or hating it, right? What changed? You can point the finger to some outer world circumstances, but that's not what's happening. What's really happening is who you're being in that scenario has changed. So I'll give you an example for myself, right? So I had a job once, you know, some years ago that I loved. I was working in academia and I was helping all of these people and I really, really loved it, right? 
And then one day I realized I was not liking it anymore and I was miserable. And what had happened was I was disconnecting from who I was being when I was loving my job. In other words, I love my work. I love my purpose when I am in service, when I'm connecting, when I'm with people. That connection is really part of my purpose. Now, I can be doing the same job and be connecting with people, or when I was hating it, I was disconnecting because I was focusing on just the task. Task, task, task. All of a sudden, I'm, I am being how I'm being different. I am not connected to that which brings me joy and is purposeful for me. Same job, different level of satisfaction, all right? You can flip that. One of the great examples I think about is somebody, let's say, who, you know, their ideal job is not being a janitor, but because this person is so connected to what brings them joy, Again, I'm going to use the connection example, but it doesn't have to be about that. You can be in a job that you don't love, right? It pays the bills. But if you bring yourself fully to that experience, you can live your purpose doing a job you don't love, right? You can also do a job that fulfills the, the financial part of your life and be purposeful there, but also in other areas of life that don't pay you anything. So it's always about how are you being, who are you being? All right, so that's how you open the flow gates is to make that shift. Now, here's a willingness mantra that you can take into your life. This comes from the Receive Purpose card of the Receive Oracle deck that is coming out in April. And a great way to shift from being a human doing or operating as a human doing to a human being is to shift from being intention oriented, which is what the hunter does, to invitation oriented. Invitation shifts your consciousness, shifts your awareness, makes you an embodied invitation just like the tree, and it opens you up to receiving in unexpected ways. So just when you start to shift from, I'm hunting for something I cannot find, which is lack-based, to I'm inviting that which is fulfilling, then your eyes are going to start to see what is here that's fulfilling. And it just brings it in because life always offers kindness. The question is, can you receive it? Well, when you are in receiving mode, yes. When you're in hunting mode, no. So here is your affirmation. I am willing to discover the joy, purpose, and power of being me. I am willing to discover the joy, purpose, and power of being me. I have had a number of clients that have been practicing this very thing through the three-step receive method, ALI, being an embodied imitation. And I have loved hearing stories about, you know what? Nothing in my life has changed right now. It's really chaotic. But since I've been really practicing receiving, oh my gosh, I am the calm in the center of the storm, whereas before I was just like in chaos. And all of these new possibilities, these, these opportunities are showing up in my life. I'm feeling creative. I'm taking risks. I'm more in love with my family. It just opens up and it's incredible. I hear stories like that all the time. So I hope you'll take this mantra into your life, especially if you're dissatisfied with your job or you're really wanting to connect with your purpose. You just be an invitation and watch what shows up. And if you'd like to learn more, really the skill set of receiving, which happens so quickly once you start practicing the very simple awareness practice, I invite you to check out the Receive course at receivecourse.com. You can start the Receive course right away for as little as $97 a month. There's also other free and uh, low cost resources. I'll include links to that. If this was helpful, please like, please share. It helps me reach the people that I'm here to serve. And if you're on YouTube, hit the red subscribe button. I'll keep notifying you every time I release a new video. So have a great day and I will see you at the next Rise and Receive. Bye everybody.